We're joined now by Dan Fredrickson, the winner of the last two features at Alco Speedway. Who let you in the studio anyway? I broke in. I had yeah. a key from a couple of years ago. I know, I wouldn't have picked you as a guest. Yeah, right, because right. your show is usually... It's usually, boring. Boring. it's usually good. And you and wanna, yeah, you'd hate to have a guy that can make people laugh or at least listen and watch. The well, show. then we better get you rid of you right now. On a serious note, semi serious note, because the show is allegedly. Right, about, you don't get serious, but yeah. You know, it's allegedly about racing once in a while. You've had a really good couple of weeks winning two features, building on your points lead. What's been the key? Um, I think the key is the fact that. We just, actually, we've been doing the same thing all year long. It might go without saying, but it was a very emotional win, winning the Dwayne Barron's uh, Memorial Race. Yeah, I mean, this is the, the only big race that I've always wanted to win, uh, that I have not won yet. And uh, I knew Dwayne when I was a little kid, and I thought he's a super great guy. And he and my dad's team, which my dad didn't drive, but he owned the cars, and Jeff Martin, they always got great battles and Steve Murdoch back in the day and um, you know when I look at real true racing I mean Dwayne Barron's is a part of that and uh, I was just super happy to win this race I I had my goal set I mean I had a bad starting spot and I thought I, no matter what I'm gonna win this race no matter what it takes and and uh, it wore me out but I mean I just had to win this race it was super important to me and there was a lot of tears in victory lane None for me, of course, because, you know, You're a man. I don't have feelings. Right. But. You've got a busy weekend. This weekend, you've got the late model race tonight. Uh, you're going to compete in the Mars race tomorrow. And then you'll be, what, in attendance or maybe helping someone during the ASA? I'm surprised I'm you haven't... I'm a crew chief of the John Island car. Really? Tom Island, Sun Truck. I pitied car. him. <laughs> <laughs> He's got something coming. He thought Cletus was bad. All right. Frankly, I'm surprised you haven't uh, conned your way into a ride for Monday's ASA race. I it's had, kind of unlike you. I had a couple deals that were so-so, but... I don't want to ever do any more ASA racing unless it's going to be super stellar. I, I mean, I'd like to get in the truck and bush deal, but if I have to make a good living racing super late models and Remax, I mean, Steve Carlson, I know him real well. He makes a great living, and, uh, you know, he just races local stuff. And I see him having more fun. You know, I went down south, talked to Johnny Sauter and a couple other guys. They're not enjoying themselves. And, and they don't care because, you know, they don't care about the money. It, you know, if you're not having a good time racing, you're doing it wrong. Finally, uh, you're looking forward, final three nights of points racing, and you're in a good situation to chase down this first late model title. Yeah, I am. You know, but, I mean, anything can happen. I know that. I hope for the best and prepare for the worst. That's my theory. And um, I, I just hope things go well. And, uh, you know, my crew guys keep holding up their end of the deal. And, I'm wheeling her okay lately. I mean, they might fire me at year's end, but we're having a good time, and uh, I got a lot of people that help me out. There's no doubt, and uh, it's fun. Well, I'd like to say that it's been a pleasure having you on the race show, but then I'd be lying. <clears throat> so I'll just say, that's Dan Fredrickson chasing down his first late model title at Elko Speedway. Yeah, with that's us. That's Rob trying to make a bad show good. Oh, and I do by merely showing up. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>